Dustin Jacoby is the tough as nails 33 year old kickboxer, mixed martial artist, and ultimate fighting champion from Illinois who has settled in Denver, Colorado. His mixed martial arts record against the biggest, hardest, and strongest and meanest in this grueling game speaks for itself. In 19 professional matches, Jacoby has scored 14 wins, 9 by knockout, and has suffered only 5 losses. He has had back to back broken arms, but shrugs it all off. He has competed for Bellator, World Series of Fighting, and Titan FC. He has fought as both a light heavyweight and middleweight. On November 1st, 2018, Combat Press ranked him the number 8 middleweight kickboxer in the world. Not too shabby. But now you must be desperate to know how Dustin Jacoby lives his life and spends his millions of dollars. Or is he even capable of enjoying his money? You know, after being beaten up so much and often in the head? But don't worry, you're about to find out. Before we begin our list, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel with notifications turned on so you don't miss any of the new videos that we post. First off, talk us through his last fight. Dustin's last fight was on February 27, 2021. This is how he himself describes the experience of fighting for his life in the Ultimate Fighting Championship. Yeah, man, I was pretty confident. I thought I did enough to get the win. I thought I was applying the pressure. I did a good job avoiding his shots. I thought I was moving a bit more. I did a great job avoiding that kick early on. I felt I got my jab going a little bit. I felt he's a big guy and might pull me down. I was a little hesitant pulling the trigger. He had a good flurry to get me with the right hand, but I felt the right hand. I got him with the hook in the second round. I got a couple of injuries on my leg. I got a fresh cut on my nose, but I'm remembering to keep my momentum. I think I'm going into my prime. I think this is my time. So that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That's how it feels to be nearly beaten to a pulp in the cage. Second on the list, starting out in life. Dustin tells us that he has always known since he came out of the womb that he was going to be a professional athlete. He has always strived for that. His brother got into mixed martial arts just before his junior year of college and signed Dustin up for a fight. His twin brother must have really loved him. This is how Dustin describes his first fight. People are coming from up to a couple of hours away to watch his fight. That first fight, it was kind of a joke. I brutally knocked this guy out in 55 seconds seconds. That must have hurt. Uh, the other guy leaves. Number 3. Training for his first fight His brother had a garage and a heavy bag. In high school, they bought boxing gloves and even built a little boxing ring. In the beginning, he didn't do training. He just knocked the other guy out. Next in line, how does the first fight feel? Jacoby tells us that the first fight feels great. An adrenaline rush. His opponent fell unconscious for 5-10 to 10 minutes. Dustin believes he could have beaten anybody in the world that night. It was just an extreme rush. The adrenaline, you can't miss it. It's second to none. Next on the list, kicking off. Dustin Jacoby is originally from Fort Morgan, Colorado. He has a twin brother called Darren, who has a similar interest in mixed martial arts and is a former professional mixed martial artist. At the age of four, the two brothers started training in Taekwondo, later on in wrestling. Dustin took a liking to Taekwondo and continued practicing for four years. He still carried on wrestling until his family decided to move to Illinois once the twins turned 12. Number 6. Kickboxing Dustin claims that he got thrown to the Wolves. One opponent had a 19-0 record and another had a 27-1. He knocked both of them out. Then he trained for 6 months in Holland, losing to 7 men ranked in the top 10 in the world. He had 5 fights in a row before losing to Simon Marcus, the number 1 pound for pound middleweight kickboxing champion of the world. In the first round, a minute and a half in, Marcus kicked him and broke his forearm. So how did Jacoby react? Well he didn't, he didn't cry for his mommy. He put his poker face on and won that round, landing more strikes and getting the better of him, before giving in to the broken arm. I think my biggest strength is my hands and my boxing, Jacoby insists. I am super comfortable doing the boxing, I weighed in at 2 210 pounds and the other guys were weighing in at 250 pounds so I knew it was going to be a lot quicker. I wasn't too worried about the power of these guys because I knew I had the experience and that's where I'm in my own element. First love, basketball and football. During his senior year, Dustin Jacoby had a ton of Division 1 scholarship offers. Western Illinois and Illinois State begged him to play football. Other big schools were looking for him for basketball too. Sadly, Dustin got injured and couldn't continue. He tore his MCL, his LCL, his PCL and his ACL. Now just remember, even one of these injuries can be the most painful injury you'll ever have in your life. He had four of them. Jacoby spent six months in rehab and nine months regaining his powers, and in the meantime, the scholarships evaporated. Tough to get to the top, isn't it? He ended up getting injured in his second game against Indiana State in 2009. He missed the next three or four games. He then started training in mixed martial arts. Eighth on the list, MMA and UFC. MMA or mixed martial arts is a sport that uses techniques for a broad range of combat and martial arts. It permits both striking, punching, 
punching, kicking elbows, and grappling such as wrestling, jiu-jitsu, judo, while both standing and on the ground. UFC, or the Ultimate Fighting Championship, is a mixed martial arts promotion and is currently the global leader in the sport. Senator McCain has once even called UFC human cockfighting. So what do you all think? Is UFC a sport or should it be banned? Next in line, can anyone get to the top? First out, you need a series of punches, strikes, and kicks. The punches and strikes include jabs, rear crosses, hooks, uppercuts, overhands, elbow strikes, knee strikes, and strikes to the body. Don't forget about spinning techniques, each one of the defensive maneuvers to avoid all the strikes that I just mentioned, and so much more. The kicks include kicks to the leg, kicks to the inner thigh of the leg, kicks to the head, kicks to the side, and kicks to the body, kicks that come around, kicks that come from the top, kicks, man. Second, you require ground fighting skills that include takedown, rear naked choke, side control, sprawls, arm bars, leg locks, ankle locks, triangle chokes, arm triangles, all sorts of locks, bars, triangles, and sprawls. Third out, you need a fight to the top. Dustin tells us, it's like Major League Baseball. You have the UFC and Bellatar, but then you have hundreds of other promotions that are minor leagues. There's so many fights going on within 100 miles of you right now. The sport has gotten so popular. It's not quite mainstream, but it's getting close. Everybody wants to be a fighter, and they're all working their way up to the big leagues. If you are winning in style, you can move up quickly. He himself regrets his impatience. I got there way too soon. I was really young. I had never been through a lot of experiences in the cage, but from that fight forward, I fought on a national level. Number 10, The Wife. He and his wife, the former Kala Tracy, are living in the Denver suburb of Littleton, Colorado. Located a few miles south of downtown River Denver is the charming town of Littleton, Colorado. Littleton's history begins like many other cities in the West with the gold rush. Richard Sullivan, Little established Little Town in 1862. His initial venture was an irrigation systems and then the rough and ready flour mill. Littleton is idyllic. The culture of Littleton is laid back, kind, and varied. It has sports facilities, a swimming pool, equestrian center, and high hiking trails. The summers are hot, the winters are cold, and bring copious amounts of snow. Littleton is peaceful, apart from the fighting spirit of Dustin Jacoby. Number 11, his hard-earned cash. Dustin Jacoby assures us that most of his years he averages over six figures, but breaking his arm on more than one occasion has cost him dearly. Still, he tells us, I've made a good name for myself. I've done a lot of things I never thought I would have been able to do. It's amazing to think about the people I've met and the things I've seen. Oh, and the guys he's beaten up. Number 12 on the list, does he spend his million on hospital bills and aspirins. Sorry, I'm a little afraid to ask. Last of Us, where is he going from here? This is how Dustin sees his own future. I'm looking forward to getting back in there, but it's also a young man's sport. Time is ticking. I don't want to stick around too long and be the old guy competing with the young. The body has been through the injuries. I've competed my entire life. I went from football to baseball to basketball, then football year round, and MMA doesn't stop either. But I've got some more fights left in me. I still feel great. There's nothing wrong with me. My joints hurt a little bit, but it's nothing major. Just more whining and complaining. Jacoby still has a hunger to win. I can get into the top 15. I think I'm knocking on top 15's door in one or two more fights. I've done it before. I don't see why I can't do it again. I'm super excited to be where I'm sitting in my career. So will Dustin stay on as a fighter to the bitter end? That's it for today, guys. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again, be sure and hit that subscribe button before you go.